Hi. So, assuming that we have our studio installed, um, I want to show you a few important things that you can do with the IDE itself. Um, first off, when you open it, this is what you'd see. Um, right here, you have the console, which is a standard R console, and on the right hand side, top right, you have the environment. This is where you can see what the variables are and what the values are and so forth. The uh, brush but button here, it's more like a broom. Um, if you click on the broom, it actually clears the environment. So suppose I've created a variable, um, hello, and I set a value of thousand to hello, it would appear here. That is nothing but um, an environment. Now, if you want to explore files, you can explore files in the bottom right pane. And when you create a plot, the plot would appear right there. Um, if you want to look at the packages that are available in RStudio, you would go to packages. Now, if you want to update a package, you could select that and say update and actually I've got plenty of updating to do and I'm not going to do that now uh, perhaps I'll do it at home um, so that's how you update and if you want to install a new package all you have to do is go to install and give the package name. For instance, um, let me start typing TSA. Um, that is uh, a package for time series analysis and it shows up there and you could also type T-series which is also a time series package. Um, you could select that um, and if you want a wavelet package you could select wave slim and that's one and wavelets and you could actually see that I can install multiple packages simultaneously just by inserting a space between one package name and another. When you click install it is going to automatically install the packages for you. Uh, you've got to be careful here um, you have to select install dependencies for if you don't do it um, then sometimes you might end up in errors. Um, so that's the package pane and if you want help about something um, you'll find it here. The easiest way to find help in R is to put a question mark and specify a function. Let's say mean and you can see on the bottom right pane um, you have the help for mean. So if you want a different function um, let's say uh, a Rima, then um, when I press enter you could see a Rima on the bottom right pane. Another interesting feature about RStudio is you could find things as you start typing so which makes it a really nice integrated environment. So if you've used MATLAB you'd see that this is quite similar to MATLAB. So as I start typing ARI it gives me multiple options and as you scroll down you get different explanations, you get different functions. The last one is the viewer. The viewer is usually used for data. Um, if the data is there um, then you can view it in the viewer. Uh, but in this case you don't have it um, so we don't have to worry about that. Now if you go to the history it has all the commands that you have typed so far or I have typed so far and if you want to clear out the console you just have to type control L. Um, suppose I want to retrieve a command that I entered here say seeking out help for Arima I want to bring it back to the console I'll just say to console and it comes over there hit enter 
I get the health back. Um, if you want a new script file, um, you need to have files. Files are quite important because it it contain it would contain a lot of functions that you could have for a particular application. So select our script and that'll be my script. Um, when I start with the hash I'm commenting stuff. In other words it's not going to run. I'll say my first script and I am going to send the help for Arima to source. Now you could say source on save then it's going to run the script when you save it. Or you could select this line and say run or you could select a block and say run or you could just hit source which would run the entire script. Saving a script is quite similar to Word or Excel. You'll just go over here and say save as and you can save it as an R file in your folder. Um, there are plenty of other options here um, which perhaps I might save it for another video. Um, if you want to create a new project you could always go to the new project options and perhaps I'll save that for another video. Um, thank you for watching